The aseptic version of the unique single-seat valve from Alpha Laval is an extremely reliable and efficient single-seat valve for stopping or diverting product flow under aseptic conditions. The unique single-seat valve from Alpha Laval is designed with safety, hygiene and user flexibility in mind. The valves can be configured to the exact features needed for your specific application. In the standard offering, the valve comes with a non-maintainable actuator, but a maintainable version is available as an option. This maintenance video is based on the standard configuration of a shut-off valve. Read the enclosed manual carefully before servicing the valve. Always be careful not to damage product wetted parts, and during service, always place dismantled parts on a clean surface. Tools Spanner size 10 for the clamp. Spanner size 17 for the plug. Spanner size 17 for counter holding the actuator stem. Spanner size 27 for the actuator bushings. A small screwdriver for removing the plug seal and releasing the air behind the plug seal. A rubber mallet for the composite bushing tool. For changeover versions, lubrication, Paraleak GTE703, EPDM suitable, or similar lubricant, USDA H1. We recommend that you make a support for the valve to use during service. The dismantling of a shut-off valve is to be undertaken in the following way. Supply compressed air to the actuator, in the case of maintaining a normally closed actuator, to release the preload. Loosen and remove the clamp. Lift away the actuator with the yoke and the valve plug. Release compressed air. Dismantle the valve plug by counter-holding with two size 17 spanners. Unscrew and remove the valve plug. Release the bonnet from the valve plug. Disassemble the aseptic valve plug, counter-holding with two spanners, and remove the upper part of the valve stem. Remove the support disc for the diaphragm and the diaphragm. Remove the plug seals. Be careful not to damage metal parts. If necessary, remove the composite bushing carefully. Using a rubber mallet with the composite bushing tool. Tap gently until the composite bushing is removed. Empty the bag with the service kit and check that the contents are correct. Please note that the bushing is not included in the service kit. Refer to the manual before reassembling the valve. Replace the plug seals. Place the new plug sealing, mounting it crosswise to secure a perfect fit. Remember to release the compressed air behind the seal. Place the diaphragm and support disc and tighten the two valve stem parts. Use two spanners to firmly tighten the two parts. Place the composite bushing so that it snaps into position. If needed, Use the composite bushing tool together with the rubber mallet and gently tap it into position. Mounted correctly, the composite bushing should stick out approximately one millimeter on the other side. Place the bonnet on the aseptic valve plug and connect the bonnet to the diaphragm. 
Remember to ensure that the diaphragm is properly connected to the bonnet. Connect the plug assembly with the actuator and tighten. Be careful to ensure that the diaphragm mounts properly. Use two size 17 spanners to tighten firmly. Place the valve body and supply compressed air. Place and tighten the clamp. Release compressed air to the actuator. Activate the valve a couple of times to ensure correct functionality. Unscrew the actuator bushings using a size 27 spanner. Remove both actuator bushings with the O-rings. Place inner and outer O-rings in both actuator bushings. Remember to lubricate the O-rings and the groove in the bushing with Mollycoat Long-Term 2 Plus or similar before inserting in the bushing. Place the actuator bushings with the O-rings and tighten using a size 27 spanner. Take care not to tighten the composite bushing too hard. Activate the actuator a couple of times to ensure correct functionality.